Bellator 214, live on Paramount Network, coming to you from the fabulous Forum in Inglewood, California. We kick off tonight's action-packed card with the Bellator debut of Adele Ultimimi as he takes on Brandon McMahon in a featherweight feature fight. McMahon goes for the takedown. Adele Ultimimi does a great job with a Kimura grip, brings him over and immediately switches to the arm bar. Traps that arm, gets it straight, brings him over. Nothing to do once the hips extend, but to tap. That is what we call transitional MMA. Outstanding effort by Abdelmini. And what a story behind that young man. Up next, a bantamweight fight with title ramifications. Juan Archuleta riding a 16-fight winning streak against Ricky Bandejas. And fighting Ricky Bandejas, who was 11-1 himself. And in the beginning of this fight, he was dictating the pace and location of the fight, but Ricky started to get that range. He started to see things, and the fight became much closer. Archuleta was able to get him down at times, but not keep him down. And there were shots like that from Bandejas that kept it close for him. It was the pace. It was all of the action that Juan Archuleta brought that got him that decision victory. We're going to see these two guys fight again. And I'll tell you what, the Spaniard wants a shot at the title next. Next up, heavyweight battle, pro MMA debut for former WWE superstar Jake Hager. He took on J.W. Kaiser, and John Wayne Kaiser got out wrestled. He did. He landed a good shot in the beginning, but Jake went right away to what he was good at, and that's wrestling. Got that head and arm choke, started to squeeze, even didn't pass the leg. He didn't have to. That's what length and strength will do for you. That was an outstanding first MMA victory for Jake Hager. Our co-main event, a feature at 145, knockout machine Aaron Pico looking to stay on track against uh, um, knockout machine Henry Corrales. Look at that shot, that uppercut. It blasted Henry Corrales. But Henry Corrales is known as a guy that does not give in. And he hits Aaron Pico with that right hand, follows it with another right hand and a left hand. And Aaron Pico is out as he hits the canvas. What a turnaround. What a shot by Henry Corrales. That is a huge, huge win. Biggest win of his nearly decade-long career. And in tonight's Paramount Network main event, the finals of the heavyweight world grand prix ryan bader fedor emilianenko they met in the center of the bellator cage what can you say about ryan bader but look at what he does with that lead left hook and it's not only the punch look at what he does with his head boom his head comes off the center line you can't attack him it was a perfect shot fedor was looking for the right hand he got hit with something he did not see and that was the end of the fight 35 seconds, Big John, is all it took. He has the heavyweight belt, the Grand Prix belt in the heavyweight division, the light heavyweight belt. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to Bellator.com or the Bellator app. I touched Fedor one time and dropped him. Under the lights of Madison Square Garden. It's over! Matt Mitrione has done it! He knocked out the greatest Russian fighter of all time. Now, on February 15th, Matt Mitrio looks to take down another Russian icon, Sergei Karatanov. It's a super fight. It does not get bigger than this. I'm gonna knock him out. It is all over! Bellator MMA, live and free Friday, February 15th at 9 on the new Paramount Network.